Hello everyone, what's up? How's it going? And welcome to a brand new episode of Russian Fishing 4. And today I am at uh, Laduga. The only reason I'm here is because I have my Tagara, uh, which is at the Beluga store, being repaired because that is the cheapest place to get it fixed. And I decided, well, I really can't do much of anything here. Why don't I just try it out? And uh, as you can see, I've already lost a fish. So that is just great. I'm just trying here to get uh, something. If we if we do uh, fly and tiny hooks, you have a chance of getting a fish. Uh, so that's what I'll be doing here. Trying to do a little bit of light bottom fishing and see if we get a roach, a, a three stickle back fish. Uh, and some of these fish, look at that, three spine stickleback, it looks so cool. Leeks, Wendy's if we can. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and try the spot and see how it goes. Looks like we got something over here. Let's see what we have. A smell, oh my god, what? Oh no. <laughs> I have the game on for too long, or maybe I have it on in the... I crafted a few pieces, maybe that's why. Wow, we're getting some few pieces here. Nice, another non-marker smelt. We will just go ahead and release that. I am going to re-log in and see how it goes i had no idea I, I even had these reels like look at these uh 5.5 kg lucidity then i have the alpha 6.5 kg sputnik proton 8.5 wow i don't even remember using these ever i mean these this is from you know the beginning days uh but yeah let's uh let's keep fishing here and see how it goes all right i logged back in i've just thrown out my third rod here and it looks like I got something on here as well. I mean, not as well. I just got something here. Oh, that's a bleak, isn't it? A smelt. Nice. Finally, a marker. And as you can see, the fish is not spazzing out. We will go ahead and keep that. And guys, I'm just using the official form to find out what spots are working and what what's not working. Because there really isn't much for Laduga in terms of uh, trophy spots and stuff. People haven't really been posting anything. Uh, you need a Texas rig to post uh, to go for chars. And I don't have that. Uh, so in the little bit of time I'm here, I thought, you know what, let's just uh, try it here. Apparently the spot works. I have lighter gear on right now and it's perfect. Do I have a fish on this? I have no idea. Oh, yes, uh, we do. This looks like a nice sized... F oh, that's a roach. For a sec, I'm like, whoa, we got some nice sized fish here. Let's throw this back. Six meter clip here, tiny hooks, and I'm using worms because I don't have the other stuff. So I will keep on fishing, but look at that smelt. Nice marker smelt. Oh, I think I have something on my second rod. Yes. Oh no, I didn't even lock it. Oopsie. Good thing we're going for small fish here. Uh, a non-marker smell. Let's throw that back. Alright, so... Oh, I keep forgetting to uh, lock these boys here. Uh, another non-marker. I put them down. I wait for my weight, my lure my hook to hit the bottom and then I pick it up. Now, who had something on? Oh my god, these seagulls are so annoying. And there's some other bird here. That makes an annoying sound. I don't know, I might have something on this. Yes, I do. I need to select a light. Ooh, a rough. Nice. So, uh, yeah, it is the lightest tip we have right now. But I'm happy the spot's actually working here. The only issue is, I'm going to have to pick up all these rods and see what's working, what's not working here. See, I got something here and I completely lost it. Oh man. 
I hate why this happens. I have a good hook too. It's not like I'm using those rusty hooks. So uh, that's annoying. Let's go ahead and... Oh, okay. I, I guess I got something here. No, I don't. All right, we will keep on fishing until I get something here. Looks like I got something over here. This tiny little another smelt. Cool, cool. All right, I got something over here as well. That's great. Ooh, a rough. Nice, a marker rough. I don't think I'm going to make any money, but uh, it's always cool to catch these small fish here. Uh, three minutes. Wow, really? Three minutes? And we have four markers. I think we're going to go downwards in terms of uh, the fish per minute I've caught so far. Uh, but you know what? It's, uh, it's nice to burn some time here. Never been to Luduga, and uh, this isn't like a proper, proper video, I guess, for properly going for Luduga. It's just I'm just visiting here. Uh, when I unlock uh, the Texas rig, I can finally do a proper video. You know, we can go after chores finally. There's something on this. It's been a while. No, I do not. Okay, we got something on that one. Yes, a three-spined stickleback. That's our very first one. Look at how uh, algae-like it looks. Exactly like uh, the rough. It's supposed to hide in the algae and uh, duckweed and stuff like that. So that's really cool. I like it. Ooh, we got, let's see here. It looks like a roach. If it's enough to push our rod. Another smelt. I like it. We got interest in our line over there. Nice. A uh, very interesting landscape, right? There's these rocks here. It's a very rocky scape, almost like Kurai. Uh, except the only way to make out is uh, to rent a boat. I couldn't even go around and uh, come to the spot. I had to rent a boat, which is just annoying. Right, so who has the fish on? This has the fish on. They're just so small. Another rough, unfortunately not a marker. Oops, I was supposed to lock it. Let's lock that. And guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I really appreciate all the support. I need every bit of it. I hope you have been enjoying the series. Uh, wow, I can't believe how many episodes I've pushed out on Russian Fishing Floor. I never imagined I would be playing this game for such a long a time. Put so many hours in. Like, look at that. 458 hours I have right now. That is insane. 56 trophies in total. 20 different types of trophies. I have a rough trophy that I caught. I don't have oblique. I don't have majority of the small fish. I've, I just don't have any trophies on them uh so it's uh, it's about time maybe we can get a trophy here i i actually have no idea if i will get a trophy or not uh but i'm not gonna say it's really hard or impossible because the buy rate here is really good uh which means we're doing something right and we're at an active spot another rough why is this oh it's this one that's why Let's lock that. I think we have something on the middle one. Yes, we do. <gasps> yes! That's our marker. That's our marker, baby. Oh, yes. Uh, I never imagined. Float fishing. Uh, sorry, not float fishing. I hate float fishing. Fishing like this would be so much fun. Yeah, I missed that fish. That's annoying. Let's put this down anyway because we have so many other... Oh, come on. Something was just playing around and it just did not bite. 
I think that's where my confusion is happening right now. I just have to... I just have to wait for the fish to take it. Uh, but these are so small, I don't know if they're nibbling on it or if they're actually stuck on it. You know, that's that's the issue I'm having right now. That's a seagull, at least it's flapping its wings. Alright, this has to be a fish. Yes. No? Oh, this is so annoying. But I'll take this or float fishing. Because you can float fish at the spot as well. Something was playing around with that one. Uh, smallest quiver tip. Uh, this one, I need to make it to 14. And then we can change the tip over there. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's how it's going. Eight minutes. We have seven fish right now. Uh, loads of smelt here. One at three spine stickleback. I'm going to say that's a win already for the day. Even if I don't catch anything for the next hour or half hour. Uh, this is what I wanted. I've never caught one of these. Look at how interesting it looks. We've got smelts. I've never caught smelts before. A rough. I already have a trophy. A roach. I already have a trophy. Don't care about them. Uh, but I will accept roughs any day because uh, they pay well. Roaches, not so much. Uh, smelt, not a marker, unfortunately. Let's put that back. Is this a fish? Is this a fish? Fishy, fishy. Is it playing around? I don't know. We'll wait a bit. Man, these benches are very clean. It's like no one's ever used them, but there's bottles, glass, and ashtray on them. Uh, this barbecue has... Oh my god, that barbecue's on. Those coals are lit right now. Okay, this barbecue is used. You can see the wear and tear and the... The... What do you call it? The muck. The burnt grease on it. But these things are have never been used. Oh, can we sit here? No, I think that was just for the rods. Okay, let's check the metal rod here. Nothing. Let's check the first one. Oh, right. I don't have these on hot numbers. Hey. A non-marker. Wow, there's just so many of them. Hey, I think we have something on this. Ah, damn it. Okay, let's go reel that in. And uh, that's how it's going to go for now. Looks like we got maybe a roach. If it's any big, it just honestly, it has to be a roach. Oh, a big smelt. I will take that. Oh, there. There we go. I think we finally got the fish. Yes. <gasps> perch. Okay, perch. All right. I was like, oh my God, this is a huge fish. It has to be. A trophy. <laughs> Alright, looks like we got something here. Yep, looks like we got something on our le left rod as well. Smelt, perfect. I guess this could be a relaxing retreat for you. You know, if you got stuff uh, being repaired, just... Uh, go fishing like this. Ooh. <gasps> wow, look at that, a common minnow. Oh man, we need, we need a marker of this guy. Oh yes, definitely need a marker of this guy. That was really cool looking fish. Something is quietly trying to go away. Oh, it's a rough. Looks like such a cute little baby rough. Baby fish. Even though that might be like full grown, tough adult, you know, very aggressive territorial fish, but to us it's just a tiny little cute baby looking like fish. Uh, uh where is it? This rough. 
Look at it, it's just such a big eye, big face here, and then it's just such a small body. Even though it's a very like aggressive looking fish, you can see the spines at the end here. Really cool. Looks like we got something once again. Yes, we got something on our first rod too. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. 77 gram rough, nice. Okay. Nice. What is this? A smelt. Oh man, we have so many smelts. Honestly, I just uh, wish there were markers. Now, I am uh, just getting rid of my ground baits here. These are the crappy ones that I used to level up and I never threw them away. <laughs> uh, so... Oh, why does it do that? Come on. Anyway, after a while I started throwing them away, but for now I have these in my inventory and it will take too long to manually throw them. So this is a fast way of doing it. Look at this fish. This has to be a roach. It's running. Running so hard. Or a perch. Ooh, what is this? That is a roach, isn't it? Yep. Roach and perch are the biggest fish here. If it pushes our setup enough, it's if it's you know, strong enough to run, it's not going to be any of these fish except for the perch and the roach. I mean, unless we have a blue marker on uh, <laughs> these smells or something, that would be awesome sauce. Ooh, a white bream. Look at that. So many different types of fish here. And they're all on worm. Like I have, I mean, everyone will have an infinite amount of worms. Uh, let's go ahead and just scoop the water here and see what we get. Worm and a red worm. Sure, cool beans. All right, do I have something here? And oh, on on marker smelt. Now, since we're using these light reels, we're not using our energy at all. So we don't need to worry about, you know, like shoveling uh, for worms all the time. Like, I'm surprised. I've been here for such a long time and my energy and food hasn't gone down. I only ate once and that's it. I did not even bother replenishing my energy. Oh, it's because we're right behind beside these guys. <gasps> yes, that might be it. No. I know it works with the campfire, so if we go to the campfire, we light up the campfire, our energy will quickly restore. Uh, but I had no idea they actually did it for here as well. Nice. What's the temperature? 15 at 16. Yeah, so this thing is, uh, it's working, I would say. Very cool. Uh, sit rep, we have 13 fish, 19 minutes. That's pretty darn good, I would say. Uh, for how many markers we have. Oh, that's a perch. Oh, that's a roach. Oh, that's an eyed. Okay. Uh, so if we get a big fish on this, we are so screwed. Because, uh, we have a slim acerity. Wow, look at the... Uh, it's... What? Brand new lacerty, brand new line. What was I doing back then? Damn. Anywho, it's coming to use for now. Oh, wow, look at that. 71 gram. It's coming to use for us now, so I have no complaints. Let's go by wait and see. I'd common roach, perch, common. And then look at this. 77 gram rough, 75 gram smelt, 70, 65 I think that's a good size. I'm not too sure. Man, it's popping over here. And that stickleback is really rare, isn't it? Uh, this one definitely on. Middle one, I'm not sure if the fish is still nibbling or if it's actually on. Another smelt. Cool. Uh, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. 
I don't think it's on. I might as well just pick it up and uh, yeah, the fish will have to make up its mind <laughs> if it wants it or not. Alright, so we have something on our this line. I think we might finally have something on our middle one. A rut, nice. Okay, 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 okay. I have to watch it for these gulls though. These fish can be easily swooped up. Ah, come on. So annoying. There we go. A smelt. So close to marker too. It's a heartbreaker. We got so many smelts that are very close to marker size that it's just... It's sad. It's saddening. Poor, poor me. Alright, so we have uh, 17 of fish in 22 minutes. We are still going strong. I can't believe how active this spot is. All I'm worried is in, like in the next 5 minutes, it's just going to die out because, you know, the devs have put in this thing that you don't uh, farm a place for too long. Now, if you were here for 2 hours plus, then I would implement that. But you know what? Uh, sometimes, even under an hour, uh, it seems, the spot dies out. Okay, something is definitely biting this. Not hooked on yet. It looks maybe like a roach. It's big enough to uh, to pull on our rod here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You saw that? The middle rod? Quietly went down. Okay, it's just a waiting game now. Between these two here. I think we might have a fish on. Oh, wow, okay, sure. Good thing I waited. This has to be a perch. Nope, that is a uh, common roach. Uh, this middle one, uh, not too sure. Nope. Something bit it, something took interest, and then it just kaput out. Alright, uh, we will keep on waiting and we will see what happens at night time. Yeah, that would be interesting. Wow, I think all of my rods might have it on now. As long as we don't lose any fish. Oh, come on. All of these sizes are so close to marker. Uh, we got something on here. Ooh. Ooh. Roach, okay. Alright, I don't care. I'm just gonna pick this guy up. Okay, finally we have a fish on. Oh, another roach. Okay, looks like uh, close to sunset the roach wake up. Alright, looks like we got something here. I was just all tapped out, just waiting for all three rods uh, to get something. A bream, non-marker. And then once I hear all three rods is jingling around, then I'm like, okay, maybe it's time to get back. I don't think I have fish on these guys. Maybe I do. Nope. Many non-markers on this guy. Did we... Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's, uh, let's get a bigger hook. Let's get size 14. It's going to be too big. Uh, but it's worth a try. Hopefully we don't get in trouble with a big fish, Sean. See, this one is doing pretty good. This is a size 20. This is a size 22, so there's no reason to uh, get a bigger hook. But just for the heck of it... Oh, I missed that one. Wow, what the hell. Uh, but just for the heck of it, let's just put one big hook on one end. Let's see what we get. Maybe we will start getting a uh, perch. Perch, but I think our bite rate might die because of it. Was that a fish? Nope. Alright, some more waiting and uh, I'm I'm interested in what comes at night time, guys. It's going to be really interesting here. A uh, smelt, cool. Once again, a middle rod here. A size 20. Size 20 and size 22 are getting the fish. On the leftmost rod, we have the bigger uh, the bigger hook. 
Uh, so the buy rate is gonna be, I guess, slowed down. But let's see, maybe it's worth it. You know, maybe we get a bigger smelt or something here. A uh, common row, it's not big enough. Ooh, is our third rod singing right now? Wow. We might something have we might have something on this. I don't know if it's trying to make up its mind that it wants to eat or I'm gonna wait a bit. I think we might have something on. Oh, how that slack went. I'm gonna go for the middle. I'm not I'm just gonna give my bigger rod some time here because I really want to catch something good. Uh, a rough no bueno. Before that, let's get rid of more or of our ground bait. Who knows? Maybe it's because of our ground bait. We're not catching good fish. And there you go. Bigger hook means bigger fish, maybe, perhaps. I don't know. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's a bream. That's a very... Oh, nice. We got a bream, guys. We can put bream mix on this. What? Bream, Bream, where are you? I've made a few Bream mix for you. Yay. All right, <laughs> let's, let's do this. Uh, but it's too small, the hook size, for these Breams. So if I actually want to go for Bream, I need to, uh, I need a stronger reel. Did we instantly get a fish on this? Are you serious? No, we did not, but let me recast this. There we go. Uh, this fish has it. Let me turn the light on too. Nice marker, finally. Okay, just for the hell of it, uh, let me put a roach mix. Maybe we will get uh, bigger roaches, perhaps. I have these sitting around forever now. And I think I made these many, many, many months ago uh, because I was at uh, mosquito farming for a roach trophy that I eventually got. So maybe, uh, not maybe, that's why I still have so many or a few round, uh, ground baits of roach. Let's put that on there. I don't know what the heck is on this. But we already got a fish on. A smelt. Nice 50 grams. Oh boy. -o. <laughs> oh yes. What is this? A roach. Too small. Wow, look at that. 25 fish in 33 minutes. I can't believe it. I've never, never would have expected float fishing would bring in this many fish. It remains to be seen how much I'm going to make from this. I think I have something on. Sort of bent down. I just don't know if it's because it's stuck in the ground. Feel like there's a fish on. I'm gonna give it some more time while I catch this guy. All right. Nice. A marker rough. Wow. This spot's amazing. Yes, we have it on. What is this? Oh, nice. A fat rough. A roach, sorry. And another rough. Yes. Yes. Fill up this sweet, sweet fish net. 34 minutes and so many fish here. Uh, 28 fish in th 34 minutes. So it's keeping up with us. Nice. I'm pleasantly surprised. I did not expect anything. Uh, but there you go. We're getting stuff. Alright, once again, we got something on here. 
Yes. There we go. Fat roach four seventy seven. I'll take it. All right, it's night time. I haven't noticed any difference in uh, fish, uh, but it's just starting right now. So uh, maybe later on, maybe we'll let's see what happens. What if we catch a burbot? I don't know if they exist here. Uh, but that would be scary because, uh, yeah, we are not equipped for any sort of decent sized fish. Look at this. 111 gram rough. Man, what a catch that was. Unfortunately, I was not recording. I've done enough of it for now. 39 minutes, 33 fish. I'm going to keep continuing on till we hit an hour. And then we will see how much I've earned. Oh, I picked up too early. Dang it. I need patience. Patience, uh, young Padawan. Yep. Alrighty, now it's proper evening time. Let's see if we can get something different. Nice. Okay, I like it. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh, another rough. Oh, look at that. 75 gram one this time. Oh, oh, look at this. I switched uh, from a worm to... Uh, to caddis fly. Because on the weeklies, the three spined stickleback, uh, the biggest size, were caught on the caddis fly. So let's see what we can get here. Uh, all of a sudden we're catching a lot of roaches. Perhaps it's because of the morning or maybe it's because of this bait. Uh, I am almost at the one hour mark and I kind of don't want to leave now. Uh, because I'm just trying out the caddis fly. Unfortunately too late to try it. I should have done this before. I don't know why. I thought I couldn't buy the caddis fly at the shop. It would have been some special lure or something. Nice white bream. And the fish are spazzing out again. I've just been here 52 minutes and it's already doing that. That's so annoying. Uh, I did get my Tagara back. It's been uh, completed. It's been uh, fixed. Uh, so maybe going into that menu perhaps is messing up the fish once again. So I got a worm, nine pieces and one red worm. And we got fish on both rods. Uh, smelt. Alright. Please be a stickleback. A rough, I will also accept that. Come on, we need a stickleback now. I'm using what they like. Alright, let's see what we have here. Uh, too small. All right, both rods seem to have some interest. I don't know if they're gonna take it. Should I pick this up? Nothing on the, oh. When I yanked it a little bit, that's when something got it. Okay, what is this? A common roach. Oh my God, leave me alone roaches. I don't want roach. Pop a roach. All right, ooh, another roach here. All right, this is too many roaches on this bait. <laughs> but man, look at the pirate though. It is just insane. 48 fish in one hour almost. Can you believe that? On the most basic setup, you don't need a uh, ground bait at all. Just need worms. You don't even need caddis fly. You just need worms. That's what I've been fishing with all the way till now. And uh, we got our very first respine stickleback on worm. Worm. There you go. So cool. Uh, there are, I believe, two more spots just like this one. Uh, but I believe we might need to take a boat art for them. So I'm just uh, doing this from the cafe here. 
Oh yeah, it's right here. <gasps> My piece of 30 gram is 30 silver. Ah, bleak. We don't have enough bleak. Oh, we don't. What? We don't have a single bleak uh, that is 50 grams or more. Oh no. We cannot fill a single order. I really thought we were going to fill orders today. Uh, but unfortunately, not good enough. Ooh, look at that. A great char. Okay, I thought it was a dragon char. Alright, we have a road here. I think it's time that we... Uh, I wrap this up here. I'm gonna roach. How much time do we have? Uh, we have three more minutes. Let's just push it. Till then. And see how it goes. Man, look at these roaches though. I think we can make money off of these roaches if they keep coming like this. I feel like uh, the worm was a better alternative. Because these roaches are just way too many. And we had a better variety on the worm. Look at this, all roach. Until these two smelt. We have something on this? No, it just, when you don't throw it far enough, it just uh, spazzes out. Okay, we got something big here. Or maybe not. Another roach. 571 gram. Alright guys, so uh, this is all I had the time for. One hour exactly and look at how many fish we have. We have 53 marker fish. And that is just amazing. Let's go by price here. Uh, oh no, <laughs> six silver, five silver, five silver. Oh boy, uh, 119 silver in one hour. That is absolutely terrible. But uh, we did get a few uh, new types of fish here. And I think if you fish long enough, you have a chance of getting a trophy. Uh, let me just get rid of this. You have a chance of getting, I think, a trophy smelt because I've caught a lot of smelt. A lot of roughs as well, so you have a chance of getting a trophy rough. And uh, who knows, maybe even a three-spined stickleback. If you can get more of these fish, these fish are valuable. Three silver for 33 gram. Uh, so that is pretty darn good. Anyway guys, this was almost like a float, floating episode. Uh, but it was just a very, very small taste of Laduga. It was very relaxing. Uh, I did not have to worry about getting spooled and, you know, getting uh, damage on the reel. Uh, so I really hope you enjoyed this episode. It was a nice relaxing one. I really hope to see you in the next one. Until the next time, guys, enjoy.